Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sarsuche here. And y'all saw the underwater footage from when I took the cameras offshore. Now, one of the things was, that was the hook I was using and that wasn't big enough. So what I'm thinking about doing is upgrading to... Yeah. Got a fire, got a fire. I got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team <clears throat> Upgrading to that hook Yeah, buddy, I think uh, Let's see, there you go I think that will work a lot better For what we were targeting out there Now, here's the other thing too See how it does that <clears throat> I'm going to have to fix that But also too yeah, I actually learned something. Um, found out that I need to improve something on the lens so that way we can get better footage. What that is, is changing the color of the lens that we are using. God, I didn't realize I used that much tape on this thing. So, yes, because as y'all see, the... Uh, <clears throat> when y'all watch the underwater footage, y'all see that we have a lot of green haze over it. And because we have a lot of green haze over it, I have to find a way to make this work a little better. And because of that, <clears throat> the green haze messes us up. And because of that, I talked to him and found out that if we add some orange to the... Uh, lens itself, which means now I have to completely disassemble, take off the lens cap here. Oh, that's going to be the thing too. I need to, because obviously I still want to use this for nighttime fishing, but I still need the green, le the green light, which is right here at the bottom, to still be able to shine through. So what I'm going to do is have to mark where that light is at once I put it back on. So that way I know where I need to uh, cut. Because this is a self-adhesive orange film. So I'm gonna have to ensure that I pre-cut. So that way once I stick it on there, I'm good to go. Now, the other thing is, it's the first time I've do, I'm doing this film addition to the underwater cameras. But also, too, I need to know if, by adding the film there, how far of a circle around that green light do I have to put so that way it don't flare up on the inside. If you, if light catches the edge of something, it, it creates a line. So I'm, I'm, this is going to be a learning process, guys. I don't know how far away I got to cut that. So I'm going to, um, I don't know. It's tricky. Needless to say, it is tricky. But yeah, that's what it looks like there. And is that water? Sure. No, no. No, that's grease. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave that grease there. But I'm definitely going to have to wash my hands because I don't want to transfer it everywhere. So, everybody. All right, guys. And I want to give these guys a little shout out. It's something fishy. Um, it's a hand cleaner that we. They dropped off to us. I hadn't had a chance to get to it, but the other day I was dealing with some really stinky bait because we had live crab. And because we had live crab, we knew the next few days there was gonna be extremely high winds. Crab sold out everywhere. So for us, holding on to those crab and keeping them alive, normally after a few days they start to stink. And they stink real bad, but they're still really good bait because they're still alive, still fresh. We're keeping them cool. We're doing everything we can to keep them nice. But when you handle them, they stink real bad. Well, this stuff knocked out that scent pretty well. So, you know, shout out to those guys. Um, haven't had a chance to talk to them myself. They dropped off this stuff when I wasn't here. So, um, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to not, I'm going to cut me a little piece real quick get it on there and let's see if this will work for us I need scissors what's gonna do my knife I better use my scissors
I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cap so it doesn't look like that lens comes out to mark me out a pattern and then I'm going to cut kind of way deep inside the pattern. The reason why I said way deep inside because if you see the lens I got about an eighth of an inch all the way around so I've got a cut on the inside of that so that way I can fit it on the inside there and hopefully I get it right the first time because this is gonna be a pain in the butt kind of deal. So, you can kind of see what I'm doing there. Let's see if this works. I'm going to see, I know we have extra lens caps. Because I was thinking about it, I don't know if I'll be able to get it to sit just right in there on the inside, even though. They look all dirty too. I don't want to keep pulling all that excess uh, grease out of messing on the inside whatever style, whatever they're using in there, I don't want to mess with it. So I'm going to attach the film to the outside. And I'm going to go and bust out my new lens is over here. Go and add one in. Let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, that'll help. I got a protective little layer there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna go and use that as a pattern on the next one. So that way I can nail it on the first try. <clears throat> but this one. Oh man. I'm gonna have to put it on the camera to figure out where the light is gonna be before I can actually mark it. Or actually, now that it's on there. Oh, wrong side. Well, I didn't know they were interchangeable like that. I put it on the wrong side of the uh, <laughs> the underwater camera. So, be on this side. Well, since I'm doing it like this, once I get it on there, then I'll attach the film. Something about it has got me thinking. It looks not bad, but you can see that ruffleage on the outer edge right there. That's what I'm concerned about. So that means I gotta go fishing. Oh man, go. So. Well, 
Let me go test this and let's see how this works. We'll find out. <laughs> 